Hey everybody, this is Nick with Frost CNC, and today I'm going to show an item from the Frost CNC shop. This MDF door tapered front range hood. So the front of this hood is an MDF door that you either currently make or can design. And it's also fully parametric, right? We have full control over the hood, the taper. We can control the size of the apron. And ultimately we can control the return. Let's say we want to return this apron into a cabinet next to it. We can do that as well. And ultimately too, if this is a frameless application and you want a filler to return into, that's also built in functionality as well. Now we also have control over the panel. We can go to the face tab and go ahead and click on that panel. And with an override, I can turn this into any look that we want. This would be a three section. And there we go, All right? So you can modify the look of the hood as you need to. So I'm gonna show you how to use it. Let's do it. All right, so before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Uh, we're actually approaching 500 subscribers, which is really cool. Uh, it's cool to see that you guys like the content. So I'm gonna keep making it. All right, so the hood that you can see here already, uh, it is in this kind of mock room here, is available on frostcnc.com. It's on the shop there. Uh, the point of this video is to show you how it works, uh, show how to uh, set it up the first time you use it, and kind of the features of using it, because it really will be a go-to hood for you uh, in a lot of situations. So, all right, let's go ahead and go to edit here. And so once you import the hood and bring it into a, a job, uh, which I do have a video on how to import. So if, if you haven't watched that, go watch that one before you try and do this for the first time. Um, the first thing you want to do when you get it into the job is actually go to this info tab. <clears throat> and the reason we're going to do that is because we're going to override three things and then ultimately save it back to your library. Uh, so it always comes in in a certain configuration. The first thing we're going to change is I want to make this panel out of MDF. I'm going to do an MDF door essentially as my front panel. And so I'm going to always use my MDF door material template there so that that front panel is always MDF. The next thing is I'm going to actually override the uh, materials for the case. You can see here I've made one called Frost CNC Tapered Front Hood. Again, in that how to import video, if you've never done it before, uh, it walks through how to make a material template unique to a specific item. But you can see the reason I have this PDF up over here, which uh, comes with the item if you buy it, uh, it tells you exactly how to make that specific material template. For instance, the left and right end of the hood are called finished ends. The front support behind this apron is called a frameless rail, so on and so forth. And you can see exactly how to set up that material template and exactly uh, what you're going to ultimately make uh, this hood out of. You can see We've got MDF, some pre-finished ply for nailers. And this is set up now exactly how I want it to be because I chose the correct material template. Now, from here, this is kind of the hard part, is when you get this hood for the first time, yours is not going to look like this. It's going to come in like this. And that's obviously not what we want it to look like. The reason is, is the second you choose your own door, uh, Mosaic will override all of the formulas that I had created here for this front door panel. And so I'm going to show you how to fix that. We're going to go here to doors and we're going to override to the door panel uh, that we want. I'm going to pick this MDF panel here with uh, kind of this two panel look. Go ahead and press OK. And there it is. Now we've got to fix the door. And so you can see here, I've got all of these formulas for you to do just that when you go ahead and use this hood. I'm going to go over to the parts tab. I'm going to click on the door. I'm going to press edit. And now you can see here, we need this formula for the width. I'll go ahead and copy that. All right. I need this formula for the length. Now be careful here. It actually only copies one line at a time. second line here, put it right afterwards. So if you're having issues with these formulas, make sure you watch out for that. 
Go ahead and press OK there. So now my door is the correct modified size. Next thing we got to change is the position. So the X position there. This monster formula here for the Y position. Again, this is kind of a two liner, so make sure you get it correct. All right. The Z position. And the rotation. Now this is in the third spot here about X. We'll want to put that formula right here. And there we go. The hood is fixed. You can see it looks perfect again. So you'll only have to do that the first time and the first time you pick your own MDF door. After that, we'll save it to the library and uh, ideally you won't have to do that part again. Okay, so there's our hood. Now, what I wanna show you next is, let's say I want a different look for that front panel, right? I'm actually not gonna change it back here to a different door. We're actually gonna do that at the face tab. If we go here and override to a different door style, it actually won't wipe away the formulas you just put in and you can change it freely. So we'll go to override. I'm gonna override this style and you can go ahead and select any one you want or, oops, we'll press cancel there. Or you can go ahead and modify it right here. Let's say we had a wider hood and I needed three panels. We can do a multi-split. There it is. And there's our three panel look. Right, and so you can control the look of your hood uh, any way you want to. If you want to get back to the normal uh, door you had selected at the beginning, we'll just go here and go ahead and press reset. There we go. And so you can control the look without wiping the formulas away, which is pretty cool. So we'll get rid of this. We don't need this anymore. Now we're going to talk about the parameters a little bit on how this hood can be controlled. So you can see here that I've got some fillers already as part of the hood. Now this is in here for some frameless applications. If you want this to return into a filler and then ultimately put your frameless cabinet next to it and carry on, uh, you absolutely can. For those of you uh, face frame builders, feel free to get rid of those fillers by putting zero there. You can see now we have a full hood with a partial return. And that partial return is controlled by this parameter here. What is the depth of the adjacent cabinet next to the hood? Now you can see if you want a full return, if it's a standalone hood, feel free. You know, you can, you can have a standalone hood just fine. But ultimately, if you're next to a cabinet and we need a return there into a face frame or into a frameless panel, uh, we can do that as well. Now, the other part that's cool about this hood is how the math got worked out. So obviously we're, we're butt joining and painting a MDF panel on a finished side here. Now you can see this overall depth at top of hood, 13 inches from here. That's actually to the face of this uh, angled front panel. We'll do a left view here. I'm actually gonna turn the fillers back on to help with my measurement. Uh, but you can see it should be 13 at the top of the hood. That's exactly what we get, even accounting for the angled front panel. And so I did all the trigonometry for you to figure that stuff out. Uh, and so you can just go ahead and, and use the hood. And so you have control of that depth at top. You can see we can change that, make that deeper. Full control of the bottom as well. Uh, and so you got a fully working uh, range hood. Let's go out and actually look at it in the room. You can see I've got the fillers back on here. I'm gonna change this depth back to 13. Let's go take a look. Okay. So you can see how with the frameless cabinet here, it's nice to have a little filler here uh, and you'd ultimately have a finished side there. Now you could put a panel here and return into that panel just fine. Um, on the face frame side here, you can see how that filler really isn't appropriate and I would like to return into the cabinet. So what I can do, I can go back and edit that hood. 
and I'm just simply going to get rid of those side fillers. And as long as my depth is correct, there we go. We're returning right into the face frame. Pretty cool. All right, so one last tip. If you've stuck with me on this video this long, this is going to be a cool tip for you. So my next question is, go up, press edit here, and I take a look at the product. How do I know how to nip this off at a table saw? What's the right angle here? Right, because I'm going to ultimately want this to be flush at the top when I make this hood. And we'll actually look at the side view. How do I figure out that angle right there to nip that off? Well, if we go to the parts tab, and we go ahead and click on that door, go to edit, in part 3D position, and you can see that angle right there. That X rotation of essentially 23 degrees, that's exactly what you need for a bevel to knock this corner off. And the other reason that's important there with that angle is you can see how these parts come together. Basically, this tapered door comes together with this front support here behind the apron. And they meet right at this corner, right at your apron height. And this angle to have them meet perfectly is half of this number, right? So 11 and a half degrees on this part and this part would get you a perfect angle here to meld up with your end and have a perfect hood. So this hood's on FrostCNC.com. A lot of uses for it. Any door style, anything you need it to be, uh, it'll do a lot of things. So go get it. We'll see you at the next video.